Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm on a few minutes early. Just wanted to make sure everything is, the stage has been set and we want to make sure everything is good to go on my end. So, so far it looks good. Uh, let me make sure I'm recording. And we'll go from there. We want to pop. And we are live. Hey, what's happening, guys? Xavier Smith, a.k.a. Mr. XL Smith, a.k.a. Coach X, a.k.a. Nutri Coach X. Yes, I'm the one with all the aliases, but only one mission. You know I've been sent here to impact, inspire, and improve your life for the better. And today is no different. So I want to welcome you to my first of many to come webinars. And this one happens to be on foam rolling for beginners. So if you are here, most likely you're going to watch this on the replay. I want to welcome you. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a few moments just to hop on board if you, if I happen to have any people that are joining me live. Um, just to let you know, to cover some ground rules, you won't see my pretty face throughout this webinar. I'm sorry to inform you. Just because I want you to focus on what I have to present to you. And number two, so I can read some of my notes. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Uh, but if you are here for foam rolling, uh, foam rolling for beginners especially, I'm about to educate you on the benefits of having a foam roller in your life. So that's what this is all about. All right, so uh, I'm going to get into a little bit about me and talk a little bit about my why. Why do I get up in the morning and do what I do to help out you? Uh, we'll talk about that and then we'll dive right into the meat and potatoes of this webinar. How does that sound? Sound good? Say yes? Thumbs up? All right. So a few more minutes and we'll get started. I want to just check my attendance and it looks like we just have me right now, but that may change by the time I'm done. All right. So, uh -oh. Well, that's okay. You can watch this on the replay. And I'm full of rhymes today. Yeah. <laughs> you might you might want to say I'm a poet. I don't even know it. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of my face and we're gonna get started here in just a moment. So let me get rid of that. Boom. Network connection failed. Well, welcome guys. This is Xavier Smith and you are watching the Foam Rolling for Beginners webinar. That's what we're getting ready to get into. So if you're here for anything else, I am sorry to disappoint. We are talking about Foam Rolling for Beginners. So let's, uh, let's move right ahead. I want to respect your time. And for those of you watching this on the replay, thank you for taking the time to watch this. And let's get started. Welcome. There you go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am super duper exp expialidociously excited about what I'm going to present to you today. I'm thrilled to have you joining me. And if we haven't met, and like I said before, my name is Xavier Smith, aka Coach X, and I am super duper passionate, passionate about helping others achieve their goals, whether it be in life, nutrition, uh, fitness, or just anything that will lead you to higher grounds. That's where you will find me. I'm motivated to help you gain better results from your workouts by sharing some of the benefits and various techniques of foam rolling. Now, a couple of more ground rules. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat feature or you can email me and I'll get into that a little bit later. And I will do my best to respond as quickly as I can. Uh, and if you watch this on the replay, use the hashtag replay and then you can always email me or you can come down to the Mr. XL Smith Fitness Dungeon and uh, let me know your questions in person and we can go from there. All right. So let's dive in. All right. Now, this picture or this page that you're seeing in front of you, this is my why. And I just pulled up a couple of pictures I wanted to share with you. As you can see over here, you're looking at a guy who has taken his skill set seriously starting back in 2007 and over the course of the years i have been blessed to you know acquire a few 
five star reviews and in total and as a matter of fact this this slide is actually outdated now because i have a few more that rolled in but i overall i've got about a over 140 five star reviews written by you know real people that seem to like what i do and here you can see this cute little lady right here in this yellow dress that's uh, mighty mouse aka my spouse annette martin smith she is one of the reasons as to my why, what gets me up in the morning is because I look at this lady right here and I'm, I, I think of what all the things that she does for me and the family. So it's my mission to do whatever I can to you know, put her in a position where she can choose to do real estate or not. I wanna retire her. And here's some of my family. Um, you got, I got some grandkids, <laughs> that one tilting his head to the, to the left here, that's my youngest. And we have 11 of these little rug rats running around and there's just a couple of my it's my daughter and her husband and the first one of the brothers is right there and we have over here some more of my grandkids like i said we got 11 and this comprises most of my why why i do some of the things that i do and it's always placing myself at service to others does that make sense say yes all right well let's move on Let's get this started, shall we? Let's get this party started quickly, right? <laughs> okay, all right guys, so let's talk about this. Foam rolling, that's what you're here for, right? Say yes. Foam rolling is a technique for self myofascial release or what we call in the industry, SMR. And the goal is to release the fascia. But what you might be thinking right now is, what the heck is a fascia? Well, let's talk about that. A fascia is a fibrous connective tissue, mostly made out of collagen, that wraps around and connects the organs, the muscles, the tendons, and the ligaments. The, the fascia enables, enables body parts to move either individually or as a group of muscles. So without this, we would pretty much be a blob of mass, you know, kind of like the blob. I might be dating myself, but I actually saw that movie and it was in black and white. <laughs> So we'd be looking like a blob. The fascia is a fluid filled structure that needs to remain hydrated. Okay, hint, hint, hydrated to function properly. Now, while staying hydrated by drinking water, that definitely helps, but movement, all right, let me pause for a dramatic effect. Movement is vital for keeping the fascia hydrated. So, Inactivity causes the fascia to bind together, which causes a loss of flexibility, which leads to a limited range of motion. Anybody know what I'm talking about there? Say yes. Now, extreme tightness in a muscle or those, those knots that you might be familiar with in the back or other parts of your body, well, that's a result of the fascia binding together. Over time, the muscle will cause imbalances and become worse because they don't heal on their own. And when that happens, it can lead to chronic pain and a limited range of motion, okay? Now, we all have a tendency to blame this type of thing on aging, but there are some things that we can do, such as foam rolling, to improve the fascia hydration. All right? Self-myofascial release. Well, it's a deep tissue massage technique. Now, Here's some things from the American Osteopathic Association that was published. It was a published article and it reported that potentially groundbreaking science that supported myofascial release techniques such as foam rolling. Myofascial release is considered an alternative medicine technique to treat skeletal muscle immobility and pain by relaxing, relaxing the contracted muscles thereby improving your lymphatic circulation and stimulation to stretch and really enhance the stretch reflex in the muscles. Another study in the Journal of Sports Rehabilitation found that foam rolling coupled with old school static stretching could also increase the range of motion in the hips more so than stretching alone. So what do I take from that? Well, if you combine your old school static stretching that you did maybe in high school, and combine it with foam rolling, you are gonna increase your range of motion. How about that? Foam rolling is the application of pressure to release trigger points, all right? The goal is to stretch and loosen the fascia so that it, it and other structures can move more freely. 
Now, how many of you right now are thinking to yourself, man, I wish I could just get out off the bed or out of the, off the couch and move with ease like I used to. All right, well, this is going to help you with that. Trigger points are sensitive points in the body, which can cause specific effect in other areas of the body. Trigger points can be tender areas in the muscle that causes a generalized muscle skeletal pain when they are overstimulated. With foam rolling, pressure can be applied to a specific point to relieve pain elsewhere in the body, all right? Foam rolling may decrease the muscle thickness, which would make the muscle less resistant to motion and therefore more flexible, all right? So instead of looking like uh, one of those stiff guys, you wanna feel more and, and more, more importantly, operate more like a Gumby, you know, soft and flexible. Foam rolling may decrease muscle thickness, like I said, which makes the muscle less resistant to, mo to motion and therefore more flexible. Some research believes that foam rolling may fire up your central nervous system, which registers and reacts to pain. Now, foam rolling stimulates pressure receptors just beneath the skin, which signal the brain and the nervous system to reduce levels of stress hormones. Foam rolling aims to realign the body by working with the fascia instead of against it. And you don't need to be injured to benefit from foam rolling. Now, that is a big misconception. Most people would avoid foam rolling because they feel like they're not injured. And as you can see, there is so much more benefit to using it even if you're not injured. All right, let's move on. Regular use of the foam roller offers numerous benefits. Many benefits are comparable to deep tissue or sports massage. Pre and post-workout will help you prepare your muscles for the workout and help you with the post-muscle recovery. Foam rolling can decrease muscle and joint pain, increase circulation, and improve mobility, balance, and your gait, which is the way you walk, for peak performance. The benefits? Well, let's write these down. Number one. Prevention of injury and increased recovery time. Number two, breaking up of old scar tissue. Three, improve mobility, flexibility, and coordination. Four, removal of lactic acid to aid recovery. Five, useful as a workout tool. Six, improves posture and breathing. Seven, Alleviation of chronic pain. Number eight, increased body awareness. And number nine, enhanced energy levels. Okay, so there you have it. I might test you on that later. So hopefully you wrote that down. Foam rolling should be done before static or dynamic stretching. This will improve the muscle's ability to lengthen. So you want longer muscles. And some of my clients that work with me here in person, they probably heard me say this before, but I always say supple muscles are better muscles. So you wanna slowly roll the targeted area to find a tender spot. And then you wanna hold on to that tender spot for about maybe 30 to 60 seconds. Now beginners should start at, maybe start at 20 to 30 seconds and then work up to longer holds. Once you become more familiar with foam rolling, you can add like sets per muscle group, holding for 30 to 60 seconds, releasing and rolling that same area again, okay? But don't forget to maintain core stability to keep the proper alignment in your posture. This may take several times before you get the hang of the proper positioning. So someone like me, a personal trainer or a physical therapist, they can help you get started until you're more comfortable rolling on your own. Now, please note, there are some exceptions to this case. Foam rolling may not be appropriate for people with the following conditions. Congestive heart failure, kidney failure, any organ failures, bleeding disorders, contagious skin condition. Well, if you have any of those, you might wanna to speak to a medical professional before you start a foam rolling routine. All right, let's move right along. You guys feeling good so far? Say yes. Now, if you're here and if you're with me, go ahead and type in a number one. If you're here and you can hear me, you can see the screen okay, go ahead and type that number in right now. And I'll continue. 
Foam rolling offers a host of benefits. However, improper use can have painful or damaging effects. So let's talk about that. All right, now mistake number one, let's see, let's see, hold on, hold on. Let me just make sure we got, we got, uh, got a couple of chat comments and I will, I will definitely get back to your chat comments. Boom. Hold on, let me just find it. Here we go. All right, I see we got Roseanne. Thank you for being on, on board with us. Boom, and I will continue. If you have any questions, be sure to post them in the comments in the chat section and I'll get to, to those. Mistake number one, let me get rid of this, real, this screen real quick. Rolling directly where you feel the pain. This might be a mistake. When you feel pain, your first reaction might be to massage that pain spot directly. However, for some areas of the body, this can cause issues. Now, when you find a sensitive spot, you want to move a few inches away from uh, the affected area and then work more a localized region around that. So you, if you feel that soreness, you want to make sure you begin to use larger sweeping motions to make sure you stay away from that uh, acute pain. All right. Mistake number two. Mistake number two is what I was guilty of myself. Rolling too fast. You need to give your brain the time to signal your muscles to relax. Now, while rolling quickly might feel great, you're really not achieving anything because you might be going too fast. Instead, you wanna use short, slow rolls over your tender spots, okay? Mistake number three might be spending too much time on the knots. It can be very tempting to spend an extended amount of time working out a knot, however, Sustained pressure can hit a nerve or damage the tissues. So don't spend more than maybe 60 seconds on a particular spot, all right? Mistake number four, poor posture. When you don't pay attention to your foam, to your form, I should say, you may aggravate a pre-existing postural deviation and that might cause a little bit more harm than you intended. Try looking at the reflection of yourself while you're foam rolling to correct any improper alignment, okay? Mistake number five, that would be using a foam roller on your lower back, okay? Using a foam roller on your lower back can harm the spine by causing the muscles in the lower back to contract and spasm. Instead, focus on your upper back and the glutes and try to use massage balls to target your lower back muscles. Massage balls are a little bit smaller and may, they may not be so firm, which might be a perfect solution for any areas of the lower back. All right, let's continue. Choosing the right style. Foam rollers are available in a variety of shapes, sizes, densities, and textures. The most crucial aspect when choosing the right form of foam roller is the density or firmness. The majority of foam rollers are long cylindrical, typically about three feet in length and about six inches in diameter. As a general rule of thumb, the higher density rollers, the harder rollers provide deeper, more intense massage. For a more gentler massage, you might want to look for a softer roller. Okay, now let's talk about the standard density. The standard density rollers are of medium firmness. Now, they can be used for both self-massage and they can also be used for exercise as well. They offer a moderate cushion uh, with just about enough density for a deep massage. Now, standard rollers, well, they can be useful for as props in your Pilates or yoga routine as well. So soft densities, the soft density rollers are useful, useful for a more gentler massage. These rollers have more cushion and they're basically made for more comfort as opposed to the former rollers, which are designed for deeper tissue massage. This form is more gentle on the muscles. And here's the one of my favorite, it's the foam dense or the firm density. The firm density rollers are designed for deep, more intense massage 
High performing athletes or very active individuals with tighter, tense muscles can benefit from these harder rollers. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense to you and we're gonna keep this thing rolling. Let me know if you have any questions. Throw up your hands or be sure to post those comments and I'll check the uh, questions out before we uh, end this webinar. Specialized rollers. Okay, specialized rollers, they offer a uh, various, they're, they're in place in the market for various purposes. The smaller length, the smaller rollers can help you have a, help you work on a particular area of the body uh, and they have a much smaller surface area uh, as the muscles such as like the muscles underneath the arms. Well, this, the uh, smaller rollers, like the handheld rollers, those might be a perfect combination for those uh, areas on the body. They're easier to maneuver. And the bonus is that they travel uh, very well in your, in your bags or, you know, with you on the plane, if you're, you know, going cross country. Uh, I have a tendency to use a pro personal roller for uh, my shins and a couple of areas right up underneath my armpits, okay? The uh, smaller diameter rollers allow more stability as you are lower to the floor, like, that, like, like the orange one that you see in the middle. These are particularly useful for aging users. So they're a little bit softer and you might have one that have, has ridges on it and those are okay too, depending on what your purpose is and how deep you're trying to get with that muscle group. All right, unique textures. Let's talk about that for a moment. Textured rollers offer ridges or knobs like the one we were just talking about. And these are designed to dig a little bit deeper into the muscles. This style is useful for areas with multiple trigger points and they provide deeper, more penetrating massage to break up that tight fascia that we were talking about. These rollers offer the most intense massage out there, okay? Now there are also, which is not covered in this webinar, there are also vibrating uh, massagers. So let me know if you have any in interest in that because I have my online store and I have a couple of personal recommendations that are awesome as far as the vibrating rollers are concerned. Now, unique shapes. Let's talk about unique shapes for a moment. Some rollers have edges to create the added instability during an exercise. They are useful for building a yoga or Pilates practice, improving your balance, core strength, and also your body awareness, okay? And then we also have the hollow core rollers. The hollow rollers are usually stabilized with a PVC core and covered in foam. And these are ideal for frequent users and they are designed to be more durable and they can keep their shape over a longer period of time one of my personal favorites. All right, so let's move on. Boom. Let me just talk about these, these techniques and the exercises. Foam rollers can be used for both massage and fitness. We've already discussed that. The possibilities for movement are nearly endless, and this is true. Now, here's a couple of points you wanna remember. Always start slow. Some discomfort is to be expected, guys. So. If you're getting into this campaign thinking it's going to be, you know, no pain at all, well, you might be uh, a little overthinking that because there are, you are expected to have a little bit of discomfort, but you should never push beyond pain, okay? Remember to roll over the target area slowly and start with about maybe 20 to 30 seconds until you're more comfortable with the move. And then you want to start with a standard or maybe a gentle roller you can always use your roller before and after a workout. So there, there really is no way to overdose on it. Some people enjoy rolling before bed to help release muscle tension as well. And you can always find a plethora of instructional videos on YouTube for at-home use. Now, I recommend to work with a personal trainer such as myself or a physical therapist to help you with proper form in the beginning, all right? These techniques we will discuss uh, here in the next couple of slides will go over the head to toe routine, incorporating both exercise and massage. Are you ready? Let me check in and make sure you guys are good. All right, everybody's good. Type in a number one if you are ready to learn about some of these exercises. Boom. All right, while you guys are doing that, let me just go ahead and continue. Boom. 
we're gonna skip this one for, for right now. This one is a little bit more on the, in the area of advanced. Uh, this one is the collarbone alignment, but if you do have questions about this one, please feel free to email me and we can talk about it and maybe have you come in uh, and do an assessment with me. But let's get to this one. This is one of my favorite. This technique, this is the upper back twist massage. This technique will increase your lymphatic drainage, okay? And help you stimulate circulation and blood flow through the upper back and the shoulders and reduce tension and compression. All right, so let's talk about this. Step number one, what you wanna do, just like the lady, you see the lady here, you wanna place the uh, roller behind your middle upper back, perpendicular to your body with your knees bent and together at a 90 degree angle and your feet are firmly planted on the floor, okay? Step number two, you wanna twist slightly towards the right side of your upper back or your right armpit and your ribs. Number three, three is roll from your armpit about four inches down towards your waist and back and then press with your feet to drive the roller for 30 to 60 seconds and then you wanna switch sides. And you're gonna repeat that times on each side. So remember, like I said, we wanna go slow and we'll feel that roller doing its job uh, all throughout your muscles in the back. Boom, okay. Chest expansion and shoulder massage. This technique will deliver oxygenated blood and lubrication to the head, neck, shoulders, chest, and thoracic spine, all right? So step number one, you wanna lie face up with the roller under you with the, with the bar or the, I should say the roller in the parallel position to your spine from head to the tailbone. Step number two, you wanna reach your arms out to the side, elbows at the 90 degree angle, like a goal post. I'm sure you, I'm sure you have that in your head with the palms of your hand up and expand to the chest. All right, and I'm doing this as, as I'm explaining it too. Step number three is you wanna inhale as you bring your forearms together above your chest and exhale as you reach towards, reach your forearms down while wrapping the shoulder blades around the roller. And you wanna repeat that eight to 10 times, okay? So as you can probably tell, you can use the foam roller workout as a workout in itself if you're just beginning, okay? Let's talk about rolling out your lats, all right? This technique will release tight muscles and one of the largest muscle groups in the back. As you can see the gentleman here, this is what you wanna uh, emulate. Step number one, you wanna lie on your left side with your knees bent and your left knee slightly in front of you. Step number two will be to bend your left elbow and rest your ear on your arms to support your head and neck. Step three, Place the roller just below your left armpit, perpendicular to your body. And four, you wanna rock slowly, rock forward and backward about five times at the armpit. And then move the roller down to the mid ribs and rock forward and backward very slow. And then you wanna alternate these uh, two spots for about 60 seconds and then repeat on the other side. This one is one of my favorites, guys. It really, at, in the beginning, it kind of feels on the borderline of a little bit of pain, but it really starts to feel good because it releases those tight muscles, the ones that we use for pulling. And so that is one of my favorites, uh, personal use, and um, I do it just about every other day. All right, let's talk about giving, your some, giving yourself some love to your lower back and hips. All right, this one is an inversion to stimulate your lymphatic system again, increase your circulation, and help to reduce, uh, I'm sorry, help to lubricate your lower back and hips. All right, step number one, you wanna place the roller under your tailbone and place your upper back and shoulders against the floor with knees bent to about 90 degree angle with the knees up over the hips, just like you see this lady here. Step number two, place your hands on either side of the outer edge of the roller the roller should remain stable throughout this exercise. So this one might take a little practice. Step number three, inhale as you reach your legs and extend your legs straight to the 45 degree angle, all right? 
Now, some people are a little bit tight in your hamstring area, so you may have a little bit more difficulty stretching that leg out, but that's okay. That's what you're here for. You wanna keep continuing to practice and stay consistent. Step number four, uh, slowly lower your legs with uh, knees bent without using or arch arching the back in your lower back and shoulders with your core held tight. You wanna repeat this about eight to 10 times, okay? Let's go on. Core. This technique helps build longer, leaner, and stronger muscles along the sides of your body and waist to help with your core strength. All right? Step number one. You want to lie down on your left side in a straight line from head to toe. Place the roller under your left leg just above the ankle. Now, now, step number two is place your left elbow directly under your shoulder with your left forearm flat on the ground. And step three, you wanna press your weight into your leg and forearm and lift that midsection off the ground while keeping the roller still and stable. This is another one that might require a little bit of practice. So, step number four, you wanna hold for a few breaths or for a more intense move, you want to exhale as you rotate your torso and top arm down towards the ground while keeping your body propped up. You, then you want to return to the side plank position. And you want to do this eight to 10 times on each side. Again, this one is, I would say, a little bit border on the um, intermediate to advanced, depending on your fitness level. Uh, but again, if you do have any questions or, or if you have a roller right now and you're trying to figure this out, um, be sure to reach out to me. Uh, let me know what I can do to help. And maybe we can have you swing down to the fitness dungeon or I can do something with you over video and we can make it happen. Okay. The glute roll, another one of my favorites. This is an area that's used every single day. There's like, like your feet, you know, your, your feet are always in use and so are your glutes. This technique's this technique provides a deep stretch for the glutes and can help release tension in the lower back. Step number one, sit on the roller perpendicular to your body with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, and hands on the floor behind you to support your body, okay? Now, number two, step number two is cross your left ankle over your right knee and tilt your left knee towards the floor to open up your hips. Number three, Using your right foot to move, slowly roll your roll back and forth, and you can try a few slightly different angles to adjust that, that intensity. Uh, and it doesn't take much here, guys. If you tweak your leg one way or the other, you're going to definitely feel the difference. You want to continue this between 30 to 60 seconds and then repeat that same movement on the other side of your body. Okay? Boom. So let's move on. Let's get to those hamstrings. This is an area that's most tightly for most Americans uh, because we just simply don't use, uh, we don't use our time wisely and stretch these muscles out. Uh, like I said before, supple muscles are better muscles. So let's talk about this one. <clears throat> this technique will provide a deep stretch to the hamstrings and <clears throat> an area everyone struggles with. Step number one, from a seated position, extend your legs in front of you and place the roller under your right thigh because we're just doing one thigh at a time. But if you need to, you can use both legs. Some people are kind of sensitive to this one. So if you're not strong enough or um, if you can't withstand that, you can use uh, the roller on both legs to you know, get yourself used to it. But this one is designed for one leg only. Step number two, Place your hands on the, either the side or behind you to help support your weight and lift those hips off the floor. Step number three is you want to relax those hamstrings of the legs that you're stretching and roll over that foam roller from below the hip to above the back of the knee for about 30 to 60 seconds. And then repeat on the other opposite leg. It's just that simple. Again, I, like I said, if you're not used to this one, uh, because your hamstrings are exceptionally tight, then you might want to use both legs on that roller uh, to, so you can get used to it and then eventually move over into one leg at a time. Okay? All right, now we're getting into the nitty gritty, the quad rollout. 
This technique will provide a deep tissue stretch to the quadriceps. Step number one, you want to start in a forearm plank with the roller underneath the center of your right quad perpendicular to your leg. Step number two is to keep your head in line with your spine and eyes facing downwards. So you're looking at the floor and your core tight as you gently roll back and forth on the roller from just above your kneecap to the top of your thigh, okay? Step number three, when you hit a sore spot, hold that roller there and bend and extend the leg that is feeling the knot to place your weight over that sore spot for about 30 seconds, but not too much longer than that. And then repeat on the other leg. That one is a really good one, guys. If you, you gotta be able to withstand that because sometimes those sore spots, if you don't take care of them, they can get worse and worse. And we wanna avoid that. All right, don't forget about the calf muscles. This technique will provide a deep stretch to the lower legs and calves. Now, step number one would be to sit with the foam roller under your right calf and hands at your side to support your weight. Step number two, use your hands to raise your hips off the floor and roll uh, from the ankle to the mid calf for about 30 seconds. Step number three, stop on that tender spot and gently rotate the legs side to side. Now this one is, I, I have a lot of fun with this one, especially when I roll those legs to, uh, from one side to the other. So you're gonna find one particular part of your calf is more tender than the other. So play around with this one because it really offers some good benefits and you will feel a lot better after you get used to rolling those tight muscles out, okay? Finally, the feet, we're almost done, yay! The technique on the feet will provide a deep stretch to the lower legs and calves. Step number one, you wanna sit with the foam roller underneath your right calf uh, and hands at your sides for support. And step two, you will use your hands to raise your hips off the floor and roll that ankle from, roll from the ankle to the mid calf for about 30 seconds. And step number three is you just wanna stop, spend some time on that tender spot and gently rotate the leg from side to side. Number four, is repeat uh, on the upper calf, the upper half of your calf. And then you also wanna flex and point your toes while resting on that tender spot. And then simply repeat on the other side. And there you have it. So, further reading. So I have already taken the liberty to place some links in the um, question, the Q and A section. So be sure and uh, take those, use them, learn a little bit more. It'll take you to a deeper dive as far as understanding all the benefits of having foam rolling in your life. So hopefully you have just been educated. You've been, uh, I've impacted you in a positive way when it comes to the benefits of foam rolling. Um, hopefully I've inspired you to either take up foam rolling or get back into the habit of using your foam roller. Or if you have questions or you wanna get started, you can always reach out to me. I wanna be your go-to guy when it comes to all things life, fitness, nutrition, whatever the case may be. Whatever I can do to help you get to a higher level, that's what I'm all about, okay? So let's move on. There's my thank you. I wanna thank you guys all for joining me today. I personally, foam roll myself and I have loved it since I got started. I love foam rolling and I have discovered many of those benefits since I've incorporated it into my daily routine. So if you, like I said, if you have questions, you want to get, you know, uh, a little bit more serious about your own foam rolling game, reach out to me. If you have further questions, please post them below and, or email me at mrxlsmith at gmail.com. Again, that's mrxlsmith, M-R-X-L, S-M-I-T-H at gmail.com and I will definitely reach out to you and get you rolling on the foam roller. <laughs> now, let's get rolling. I'm gonna stay behind for a few moments just to see if anybody has any questions. Uh, and then, boom, there I go. I'm gonna be right here. Uh, stay right with you guys if you have any questions, but we ended just in the nick of time. Um, I wanted to end within an hour and looks like we're at 55 minutes and 25 seconds. 
Uh, so let me know. I'm going to check over here, see if we have any questions. All right. So I put your links in the, in the comments. And I, Rose, thank you for being here. I want to thank you for that. Uh, looks like you might be the only one that showed up in the live presentation. So that's awesome. Uh -oh. <laughs> is that you, Rose? It is. <laughs> How you doing? I, was, I joined late. Is there a, a way to see the beginning of this? Oh, yeah. So as soon as this recording is finished and it, um, it has to upload to the cloud, uh, and then once that is downloaded, I will send out uh, the, the whole webinar out to you guys. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for coming. All right. So that is it for me, guys. Um, I want to thank you again for being here. And as soon as this recording is, is all finished up and it's uh, uploaded to the cloud, I will redistribute it because I know a lot of people are going to be wanting to know a little bit more about this. Uh, and I'm here to help. I'm here to serve so we can go from there. Uh, thanks again so, got, so much, guys. And uh, as soon as this is done, I will get that back out to you and we will go from there. Bye-bye.